Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build Your Own Back to the Future DeLorean where we're going to be looking at issues 123 and 124 this week. Now you may notice that the parts are not on top of the magazine as they always usually are and that is because I went ahead when I painted the last grill part from last week. Um, I built and I made the grill part for this week as well. Uh, just while the paint was out I wanted to get them all done uh, at the same way at the same time time so this video at the start of this video it's going to be just a flashback to the footage from last week in building the grill and then if you go to this time code here you'll see all the new stuff with the new second grill all complete so without further ado let's go back in time so here are the three events here um, they are exactly the same apart from they are individually numbered as you can see in the top left hand corner there's a one engraved there there's a two engraved there there's a three engraved there like that okay so uh, what we're gonna have to do is oh, I don't know why I've took this away really you line them up so that um, one is at the top two is in the middle and three is at the end now there's a little ledge on the back here that they just sit on like that and I imagine this is going to be quite figgly to get all of these lines and holes lined up like that but they do face down which is interesting I don't think I really realize that like I said last week um, building this model is brilliant because you do realize stuff like this you know that the vents are facing down in case uh, unless of course it is inaccurate um, but I'm, I don't think it is so I'm just going to quickly screw some yeah okay good that one hit the hole but of course it caused the other one to dislodge. I'm just going to show you the top one of these. Maybe just even one side. Although when you're on one side actually, the next two screws should be pretty easy to do. So let me do the other side on camera as well. And actually it's not as difficult as I thought. It fits in really nicely. I think that little shelving unit works. Oh, here we go. He says, no, no, there we go. I think that little kind of, um, not shelving unit, that kind of, that little, this bit, this raised part here, a little ledge, maybe this is called a shelf, I don't know. But I think that does help in kind of positioning these vent flaps into the right position. So as you can see, that is the first one all done. And I believe that is right in facing down. Well, that's how it fits in. And you can see the angles do make it that it faces down. So you do the same for vent two and vent three. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. And jumping ahead of time this is it all done all painted exactly the same way as the other one even putting back these black oil spill marks there it's got a bit of bit thing caught on it there we go that's pretty cool so yeah um, again I'm sorry for not showing you how I have painted this but basically it was a black coat underneath and then I sprayed it over the top with here we go I've still got it with this primer gun metal paint as you saw in the last video, the army painter. Um, lots left there if I do ever need gun metal for anything else. Um, so just a few more things that I'm going to do on this one. I am actually going to show you how to attach it onto the back plate, which I didn't do with the other one because I was worried about how it was going to go. But firstly, we just need to attach these tubes and I will get them the right way round properly this time. So the first one um, doesn't have a straight tab. This one's got a straight tab there. This one's got a slightly wonky tab, so that just goes in there like that at an angle. And you push that in, and then the one with the straight tab goes into this hole here, like that. And then you've got these, that tube in there, straighten it out. 
and it's really nice. Again, I'm going to praise the design of this, having this little bungee type cord as a tube is a very, very nice design. And then the second one is this lighter grey one. This one's got a black bungee cord. This one's got a grey bungee cord and you just pop one end in there like that. Bring the back plate around and then get it into position. Make sure you take off all of these cables and tubes that we have attached previously. Um, and then what we're going to do is just attach this one. We'll get this one in position there like that. Make sure that this cable doesn't get caught underneath. Flip it around and then we're going to screw it in here, here and here with some FP screws. I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And there we have it all. Oh my word, look at that. Sorry. Oh, that just looks so good. Okay, so, yeah, so here we have the back um, grills all attached there. And it really does look exquisite to me. Oh, so iconic. Right, okay. So now it's time to reattach all of the pipes that we took off um, to get this uh, part on. I find this much easier to do it this way around um, because the pressure works and they're not completely falling out so you've got three holes there and you've got four holes there ignore that little small dot we'll get into that in a second i find placing them in the grill works first what up if i've got the right hole there you know it is still fiddly but it will go in i promise so maybe put it into the black box first and just to you just get the angle right and a bit of brute force to get it into that hole ah oh boy and much easier to go in on the other one I should have shown you that bear with me just a second on this one oh boy yeah that took some effort to put in uh, as you can see because it is slightly scratched oh, oh. It was. You can't really see it on camera. You can see it in real life, but there's a slight scratch there. But yeah, that is one in, and that is not coming out because, like I say, that pressure is so great. Um, that's why it's much easier to attach it rather than will fall out. Let's do this top one. Hopefully, this will go in slightly easier. <laughs> oh, that's not wanting to play ball, is it? It really isn't. Ah, there we go. There's that tube in, looking great. And then this final one. Oh, why did I do it in this order? Oh, well. I'm gonna have to take this top one out. Oh man, that's not coming out. Okay, fine. Right, you can't see any of this, can you? It's possibly the most embarrassing thing I've done with this DeLorean model, trying to get all these in. And I'm going to have to do it on camera, but you get the idea. Uh, I'll do it off. Yeah, that piece is gone. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. Hallelujah. They are in. They are in. And they look great. They do look great, it has to be said, when they're all in. And they are not moving. They look fantastic. I really love the difference. You can see the difference in colour now between these silver parts and this gunmetal part looking great uh the final no well yes the final thing that we have to do from this magazine is we get this black tube here and just like the black tube in this side you just pop one end into this hole come on in you go and then oh mine is slightly sealed off actually from the paint bear with me just a second here we go yep the paint sealed up that hole but you just put that in there like that and then there's a little tab right there you see that little tab you just place the pipe over there and push that into the hole and place it however you want but that is where that pipe goes there looking great and that is all we do in these two issues of the delorean we've got this 
being nice and loose and then this will plug into the side I imagine when we attach it to the main body of the DeLorean which will be very soon and when you do attach it to the main body of the DeLorean you have two options you have this option which is the Back to the Future 1 option with the arc reactor and then we have option 2 here with the flux uh, with Mr Fusion even so to get Mr Fusion on it's a little bit fiddly but it does slide in and push down there and it fits as you can see very nicely there you see there's even a tiny little groove for this plate here I imagine it goes down further oh there we go like that so yeah you really push it down and you can see these parts are all covered up like that and Mr Fusion stands out there like that and I guess you push it down more and it'll fit in I'm only going to do it loosely for now because I'm going to take him off. But the reason I bring this up is because we are going to focus on Mr. Fusion to finish off this video. Now, Mr. Fusion we got way back when, over two years ago, we got Mr. Fusion. And for the most part, it is fantastic. The, whoops, uh, as you can tell because the camera went out of focus, the Mr. Fusion home energy reactor text is really nice considering it is so small. Uh, mine's a little bit dusty, sorry about that. But then on this side, you have these really, really ugly screw marks which just completely takes away from Mr. Fusion on this side. So um, as you know there are a lot of modders out there, one of them being Mike Lane. Mike Lane has done so many mods, uh, if you go over to his website there are so many mods that you can add for your DeLorean just to add that little bit of extra touch um, that is more screen accurate than necessary than um, it is in the magazines and I got from Mike Lane the Mr. Fusion vinyl wrap which I'm going to work with you now um, it's a vinyl wrap which is exactly what it says on the tin tin it's a wrap that goes around Mr. Fusion to cover up all of those ugly screw holes and here it is um, with this as well you get the more screen accurate logo above the home uh, energy reactor this logo here which is missing it's just like a dot on this side and just a dot on that side um, and you can see you've still got in homage this kind of like three little dots but they're nowhere near as big as the screw holes that come with the model so what you have to do is just get it it's just like a sticker essentially make sure you line it up with these two parts here get it nice and central and then we'll just work it around, pushing it down gently as we go, trying to keep it as straight as possible. I'm going to zoom out a bit, sorry. There we go. So I'm just pushing it around very gently onto the other side and then seal it off at the back here. I'm going to take some time to wrap that around properly off camera. Not that it needs much more to do but just to kind of get rid of those seam lines and stuff like that. And when it's all done it looks pretty damn nifty. On this side we have it as it was with this new logo and on this side it's how it should be with that logo without those ugly black holes in Mr. Fusion. So I very much recommend this super easy to do as you can see go over to mikelanemods.com and have a little look at all the mods there and they just add that little extra something to the DeLorean that make it look more professional I'm really really happy with how that came out exquisite and it doesn't you know affect the movement or anything like that it still looks really good um yeah Go over to Mike Lane Mods, check him out, and that is the end of this video. Um, I will see you in two weeks' time, where we'll be building more of the um, DeLorean. Obviously, I can't get this part in now, but it goes in something like that. We'll be made building more of this DeLorean. We will be adding these slats onto these groove parts, so I will show you my painting technique for these back grills. As you can see, it stands out from the silver, which is really nice. So I will show you how I painted these back wheels by painting these um, slats in exactly the same way. Sorry again for using parts from last week's video to fill this week's video, but it is essentially the same part and it is a time trial video. So once again, I have license to do that. I think I said that last week. I'm getting lazy in my old age. Um, yeah, I will see you in two weeks' time, guys, if the parts come through. We are at that stage again where the parts may not come through. 
um, and if not then I will keep you updated so until next time guys take care bye bye